Good morning, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Hope all of you are having a great day. Today, we are finally getting to check out a truck that I ordered forever ago, and I'm pretty pumped. It's a sweet truck. It took forever, it took a long time, but we'll see. Well, I guess we'll see if it's worth it. However, before we do that, we've got to get the oil changed in the Ram T Rex because she's already got 4,000 miles on her in about two weeks. Now, this is, of course, the quickest I've ever put miles on the truck, but that will slow down. That was mainly because of one 2,000 mile journey in like one day. So that will slow down. I drive a lot, but not that much. That will slow down. Um, that's like truck driving miles. That was basically 20, between the trip and like the day after, it was like 2,500 miles in like two days overall, it was pretty wild. I'm not sure if I would do it again, but I wouldn't wanna not have done it, if that makes sense. So we'll get to, we'll get to the new truck in a second, but we gotta get that oil changed first because you know, I like to take care of my trucks. But yes, I ordered this truck, the one you'll see in today's upload, a long time ago, long before the Ram, and even before the High Country. So I don't know what took so long, I don't know what the deal is with GM, it's a GM truck, if, if the title doesn't say that, but it took a very long time, long before the High Country and before the Ram, and uh, this was going to be my daily driver truck, and then when the Ram came in, I figured I would decide which one I liked better. That didn't happen because the Ram came in first and I already bought the High Country, so that was all done. And that kind of leaves the new truck in limbo, not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but I still wanna see it and uh, make that call because it is, it should be anyway, I haven't seen it, but it should be really cool. So let's get the oil done first, we'll do that, and then we'll check out the new truck. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, where is the High Country, Mike, what's going I haven't seen it in a while. Well, it's getting some very, very cool stuff. And it's going to be, I think, my coolest truck build ever. My big truck build anyway, like HD trucks. And uh, you'll get an update on that very soon. I think it should be done today. But you won't see it today. But it should be done. It's off getting some real sweet goodies. One more funny update here. I have... I don't know where I put it, actually. I think it's in the garbage here. I, uh, I did something silly but this is how like I'm trying to take care of my new truck and keep it nice here it is uh, come on what is ha what is happening here so you guys know I bashed this off a rock in Colorado and <laughs> I figured the truck is brand new not that this won't happen again and every truck's going to have scars right but I figured you know what it's too new I got to order another one and I found one on Facebook so I literally replaced I know I'm getting like old now and really silly now but I replaced my bashed up exhaust tip with a fresh one because I, I've lost my mind. Anyway, let's change that oil. Oh yeah. Oh baby. Chew pop, chew pop. <laughs> chew pop me. Interview time. Now Ben. What's up bro? A lot of people in the comments do like your GTI. Give us a, a rundown here. All right, we got stage one, E85. Oh. We got the gauge right there. We're at 76%. Minimum required is 60. Okay. So we're good to go. We always fill up with sheets. Love it. Uh, we have a cat back exhaust. That is an AWE Touring. And we just have a uh, intake on there. It's the APR intake. Okay. And that's pretty much it. We're lowered. We have wheels. This is a 22 SE. So it's the middle trim. I don't think the Autobahn top trim is worth it, honestly. Might as well get a Golf R at that point. Uh, we have the silver NK TSVs wrapped in Firehawk Indy 500s. Uh, going around the front here, we have the Maxton front lip. We have some badge skins going on here that's tinted. And then we have an eyebrow on the side here. So it's looking real mean. We're sitting on uh, new speed lowering springs. Not super low, about an inch and a half lower than stock, but uh, still rides okay. And it's not too low or anything like that. Golf R style spoiler up there. Looks really good. A little integrated lip on there as well. Moving around the back. We have the Maxton rear diffuser, as well as the AWE touring exhaust. Sounds good, not too loud, not raspy at all. Yeah, just keeping it clean, simple, nice little build, nothing crazy. Making about 350 wheel, honestly pretty quick car, makes really, really good torque, and it's super fun to drive with the manual. So yeah, that's the whole market GTI, I hope you guys like it. Aftermarket shifter and boot, I mean. Oh, is that aftermarket? Better. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the stock one's all plastic. It's this giant knob that you I was gonna say, that does look really nice. Yeah, I don't like a big knob. You know, I like a smaller quality knob. It's honestly, it's more about 
quality over quantity. Right. Yeah, so a nice... I've always felt that way. I, I mean, I work with a smaller knob, exactly. but high quality. Exactly, that's what really matters. But yeah, you know, we, we do some boosting up in here. Ooh, see that? That's actually really it's, quick. It's, it's not too bad. I know, know you talk like, it down, but like that's that hits hard. It's, we're boosting, buddy. I love it, heated steering wheel. It's got all the luxuries, it's got all the niceties. So Ben's got a sweet GTI, and this is the guy behind everything on the 717 channel. That's right. And social medias, he does all that. And then like the cool, high quality, the montages on my channel that were clearly filmed with a high quality camera. That's him too. So yeah, this Mike, is your guy. Mike wouldn't know how to do that. So I don't, I can yeah. barely operate a GoPro square, so. I've seen it, yeah. I, I do the best I can. Quick update on the shop. Since we're here, the window is getting fixed and everything is finally coming together. I showed you guys in the last upload, I think, but the lighting is back in as well and I'm pumped about that. Thank God my hex lighting is back looking good. The Bronco looking sweet. If you haven't entered for that Bronco, definitely hit the link down below, 7017supply.com. And uh, I'm going to actually grab that to run to the dealership so that I have something to drive. Finally though, shop looking real good. I'm excited. It's been a long road, but we're nearing the end now. Only thing left for me to do is the floors. We're gonna make those look really cool and then the shop will be complete. What do we have here? This treatment is nice. Well, I didn't want to drip it on the car. Dude, I, I can't take this rain anymore, buddy. Dude, I didn't even want to film this now because you know, I was waiting for a nicer day, but it, a nicer day I don't think is ever going to happen. We got rain in the forecast for the next week. It's been raining, so I'm just filming it here. But here is the beautiful 2024 Desert Boss. 23. 23. 23. Oh, 20, I th thought it was 24. I'll edit that, <laughs> maybe not. 2023 ZR2 Desert Boss. Now this thing is badass and you can actually see now that it's a day later, thank God I had been film the B-roll earlier when it was nice out. So you got, to, you got some good shots of it in the sun, looking real nice, um, but it looks like a mini T-Rex. You can see I'm here now with the Rex after the oil change, but it looks like a mini Rex and I love this truck. I think he did a great this job awesome. with the ordering process. He picked yellow, of course, for me. He said, what do you want? I said, well, get me everything and yellow. I love it. Bobby's gonna wrap his. I know. I don't know why. Like, why. He did ask me, he was like, what color? I was like, leave it the yellow, <laughs> which is not the answer he wanted. But this thing is super cool. Now, if you don't know about the Colorado line and Chevy, the Chevy line in general, you have your normal trucks, like LT, LZ goes from base model to luxury, whatever, and different trims. But then you have your off-road trucks and you have your Colorado and full-size Trail Boss. And that's like your, your little level up, right? The Trail Boss is a, a mild upgrade, a little bit lifted, a little more off-roady and uh, some badging. Then you have on top of that, the ZR2, and that's the top dog truck, the ZR2 for Chevy. Think of it as the Ford Raptor or Ram TRX. The ZR2 is the top level truck when it comes to Chevy. And they're actually making a ZR2 2500 Duramax that should be really cool. And I thought about maybe getting one of those for potentially a giveaway um, at some point. But the ZR2 is the top dog. However, the ZR2 being the top dog, it doesn't stop there because then you can get the ZR2 Desert Boss, and that's an upgraded package even above the regular Top Dog ZR2. So think of it if there was like a, a TRX R or something, you have your ZR2 Desert Boss, and that comes with a lot of stuff like the cameras underneath, which is really cool. The Trail uh, Desert Boss has a camera. See a camera there? Oh, so you can see if you're, so you see the rear axle. yeah, like on a rock or something. Or I mean the drive shaft. Yeah, it's awesome. Is there one on the other side of that too? I think there's one, the one, there's one there. Yeah, there, yeah, there is, side. yeah, there's one up here. And I think there's one at the back as well somewhere. I think it's actually pretty cool. See, look at that. I come here with the knowledge. Baby. You did. I had no idea. That's maybe maybe not at the back. I thought there was one more, but that's cool. Maybe in the front? The that's very cool. Front? Two in the, maybe in the very front. Yeah, yeah two right there. Yeah, hey, you can see that. Sick. I like that. The upgraded wheels, huge rock sliders. Now those do come, you can get those on the regular one. 
the Baja rack with the light bar installed. That's really freaking awesome right here with the ZR2 lettering kind of engraved or maybe lasered on there. And then you have the bull bar in the front, which is also super cool. Um, and all together, you got lighting in there as well. And all together, it makes a really awesome little truck. Now, I was going to potentially either use this as a daily uh, or maybe a giveaway. I thought it might be cool to run it with the ZR1 because, you know, we could do a dual ZR1, ZR2, might be neat. But the truck was a little bit late getting in and uh, we got some other stuff going on. Of course, the high country, and you'll see that shortly. And then the Ram came in, which means I think she'll be available for sale. You don't have a buyer yet, right? Not yet. Okay, so officially, I'm not gonna take the truck. She is for sale, but you can see spec for me, yellow with the yellow belts. And I love the new Colorado. I think GM did a great job on it. The interior is really nice. It's a smaller version of the full size. Got the big screen there. The camo pattern on the dash, really cool. Um, yellow stitch, more camo and then the yellow belts are a great accent. I mean, my, my color combo for sure, but I think anyone would like it. And I think the yellow is a really cool color for a small truck like this. It might be too much on a big truck, but I think a little one, absolutely perfect. I would like to try one out, mm -hmm. but I just have too much. I have no money. Number, <laughs> number one, I have no money. That's problem That's one. That's one problem. I have no money left and also, because I already bought multiple trucks and also I don't have the room, but it's really neat. You know, the, the new Colorado really is the first GM truck in a while where I looked at it right away and thought that's a really good looking awesome, truck. Man. Like it's really neat, very modern looking. All the, the front end is yeah, totally. All the styling is sick. What, what everybody would want. Yeah. It's what they want for years. Love those cuts. You know, everything about it is, is super cool. The black grill in the front, the flow tie. Flow tie. Oh yeah, the flow tie. I'm not going to take this one. Was a little bit late getting in. I'm not going to drive it around because it's got no miles on it, but um, let's actually see. I don't think it has any miles. 13, yeah, no miles at all. But look at all the buttons. Like all the interior quality is really good on these now. It's got piano black finish with a little chrome trim, like aluminum chrome trim. You got all your buttons down here, locking diffs. One great thing about these that's more impressive than any full-size truck right now on the market besides the <laughs> Silverado ZR2, front and rear locking diff. Uh, that's a very unique thing. And this thing would be super capable off-road. It's small, light, locking diffs. I mean, if you want to actually do some intense off-roading, this would be the small truck to get because really you don't want that. It's, it's too big, it's too wide, um, as you might have seen on the Colorado trails that I was on. Um, but this thing would be perfect with, again, the locking diffs, that's badass, and all your off-road gear here. Ooh, look at, <laughs> dude, look at that screen. Oh, so when you turn the dial, it changes on the big screen, not the dash. That is so cool. Look at the graphics there. I mean, that is really high quality towing. That's sick. Off-road, like in a swamp there. Normal. <laughs> really, really good job from GM. It was late getting in, but I gotta say, I mean, it's really impressive what they've done here, especially for a small truck. And uh, all together, it was six. Now this is as good as it gets with every option, even sunroof, you know, all that. Uh, with the Desert Boss pack, I think it was 60, uh, what is it, 62, I believe, which really isn't that much when you think about it for a truck in today's market, but I love that. That's super cool. Someone will yeah. buy it. Somebody's gonna love it. That's it sucks it was late. If it was this only, was, yeah, was like the a, a month earlier, it would've been really cool. Yeah. And I wanted to try it out. I was excited to daily drive something that doesn't get four and a half miles per <laughs> gallon, but I mean, yeah. it would've been cool. Colorado ZR2 Desert Boss. Very, very neat truck, something different. I was going to try it out, a little bit too late for me and uh, my circumstances, but if you want it, it's available right now. Hit up Matt Beaver and uh, they'll help you out. All right, guys, well, my bad. I forgot to film an outro and uh, honestly, the weather has been just getting me down in the dumps about filming because when you film, you wanna be out in the sunlight, you want good lighting, you want good weather, you wanna be outside filming, not inside. So it really sucks and it's been like, three and a half, four days now of constant 
rain. But um, hopefully it will clear up because I've got a lot of exciting stuff lined up this week. I've got a new supercar coming, uh, going to Texas to reveal the C6 ZR1 and uh, revealing the high country as well. So three big things this week. Hopefully the weather cooperates. But yeah, this one, uh, this upload, I was excited to try out the Colorado. I was hoping to use it as a daily for at least a few months. If it wasn't late, that would have happened, but it was very late coming in. And uh, I don't really have the room or, you know, just room, not only physical room, like in the garage or in the driveway. I guess I do not, I don't have that many vehicles, but I don't have the room in the schedule and budget for that. So I gotta let it go, but it would have been cool. And I think it's easily the best looking small truck on the market right now. However, the new Tacoma looks really cool as well. So I'd like to try that truck maybe at some point, but I think for now, the ZR2 is easily the best looking small truck on the market. Was pumped about it, but I can drive Bobby's, I think. I think he'll let me. If not, I'll just, I'll steal it because what's he gonna do, stop me? So I'll drive one, I'll drive his and see if I like it or not. But that's about all I got for you, I think. So hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give this upload a big thumbs up, take care, and have a great night.